Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, I have some easy Dollar Tree DIYs. I am going to use mostly Dollar Tree items. This is also in collab with my friend Daniela from Danielita AF. The crafty mixologist, I absolutely love her channel because she does cocktails. She is so talented and does beautiful home decor. I am going to have her link down in the description box. You can definitely go check out what she did with her Dollar Tree items. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. With that being said, now let's craft. Starting with my first Dollar Tree item, I'm going to use this beautiful gather sign. Now this is already beautiful as it is, but I do want to make this more my style. I thought this was going to be so easy and simple to do by just removing the top piece and adding some painter's tape all around it to paint the background, but little did I know that wasn't the case. So I did that and then I started to paint this white and as you can see the paper started lifting. So then I thought you know I can just remove the paper using this X-Acto knife which I thought that was it, but no. I did end up taking the whole thing apart so guys now you know that you can't paint this so an easier way to do this is just by adding some scrapbook paper I did wanted to show you all the process and struggles I did so you don't have to I honestly thought I had ruined this because even though I was being very careful removing the staples it still kept breaking when I was finished, I just started to paint in the back. So I was like, you know what, let me not give up on this and let's see how it turns out. Once it was dry, I then made some wood planks using a ruler and a brown marker. I got this deco paint marker from Hobby Lobby. I went over the lines twice so it made the lines very harsh. So what I did to like blend it out more is I used a sun sheet and just started sending everything so like that it can blend together. The next thing I will be using is these Dollar Tree Rub-On Transfer Stickers. Now these are beautiful. I absolutely love these. So I'm going to use the wreath and I'm going to add it in the center of my sign. And look how beautiful this looks. Now I'm going to just add all the sides back using hot glue. And that is it guys. I think this gather sign looks so much better. But let me know down in the comment sections what you guys think. For my next DIY, I'm going to use the bottom piece of this candle holder. I'm going to paint this black. Well, I thought I wanted it black, but I do end up changing it to brown later on. The next Dollar Tree item I will be using is this little glass or jar. It's the ones that come with the lid. 
and i'm going to use some dollar tree actually they're not from dollar tree from walmart the boxwood greenery which is 97 cents a pick now i'm going to just glue little stems all around the bottom of this jar the last thing i will be doing is adding it on top of the uh, ceramic piece you can glue it if you want to i just chose not to and that is it for this candle holder i think it turned out beautiful For my next DIY, I'm going to use these wood boxes. Now I'm only using like the little inside boxes. They are a little bit smaller than the ones on the outside. Now mine are from Michaels. I got them for $1 each. They were on clearance, but Dollar Tree carries the exact same ones for just a dollar also. So I'm going to start by gluing these together using hot glue. I decided to paint these white but you can totally paint it whatever color you want as you can see I am making a beautiful planter now once this is nice and dry I'm going to add this home sign that I already had which is also from the Dollar Tree Now you can already leave it like this, but I decided to add some little handles on the sides and I'm using the Dollar Tree leather ribbon. And that is it guys. There is two ways you can add greenery to this. You can add three bases or just add them all inside to make it look like one, like I did. And I really hope you guys like this. For my next DIY, I'm going to use this decor piece that I picked up recently from a thrift store. Now Dollar Tree carries so many different signs that you can use instead. I made this sign using my Cricut. It says family and friends gather here. Now Dollar Tree once again has so many different stickers that you can use instead. I'm going to add family and friends in the center and to the bottom one I'm going to add gather here and I'm going to leave the top one blank. The Dollar Tree item I will be using for this DIY is the transfer stickers. I'm going to cut several of these little leaves and add them at the top. I am going to leave a space in between them because I'm going to add a bow. Now to finish this off, I'm going to wrap some Dollar Tree shoestring around the top. I did wrap it around several times. I then made a bow using the same jute and added in the center. And that is it for this family and friends gather here sign. I think it turned out so adorable and so cute. And that is it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. 
and don't forget to go check out Danielita's video I'll have a link down in the description box so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye